A lot of women these days are taking on two full-time roles, essentially juggling time as mom while working a side hustle at home business or career. So what's the secret to making it all work? Michelle Gifford is here to share what's working for her and it just may help you see your own routine a little bit differently. I'm always eager to get your insight because you do have a lot of plates, so to speak, spinning in the air. You have five kids and it feels like you're managing almost that many businesses. <laughs> and I know you're asked this question a lot and there's not really a concrete answer. We've connected on this point, but how do you manage it all? Well, I don't have a ton of time throughout my day, like huge chunks, but I do have 20 minute pockets throughout my day. And so it's those 20 minute pockets that I'm building my business and learning new things. Can you get a lot done in those little brief interludes? You can if you do it right. And that's what I'm going to be talking about because you can't just expect it to happen, but you have to really make a plan. A lot of moms might be saying, Michelle, those 20 minutes are my Instagram time or it's my catch up on TV show time. If we're filling those 20 minutes with more efficiency, are we taking away time to relax and decompress? So that's the thing, like we need to make sure that we are differentiating between those two things because we have relaxed time and that's when we're Instagramming Netflix and those kinds of things and that's great. But there's also the recharging time and I think that's more important that we put more emphasis on that because that's something that doesn't just happen and recharging to me is creating something new, uh, doing those things that you love that really like fill you up, you know, that after you're done you feel accomplished and you feel better about yourself. But relaxing time, those are the times that are easy to do. Mm -hmm. And so we do that maybe more than we should. Mm -hmm. But this recharging time is really what gives us life and energy. You say knowing where we should be recharging, where we should be relaxing, that can all be simply spelled out if you make a self-assessment of your day, yeah. of your routine. Explain this concept. Yeah, so we need to first make an assessment of what we're doing because um, I think that the first thing people always say to me is like, I just don't have time to do XYZ, whether mm -hmm. that's like starting a business or like learning something new, mm -hmm. they just don't feel like time, they have enough time. But in reality, if we looked at the things that we're doing throughout our day, yeah. that we'll see that we're really probably wasting a lot of time on social media and stuff. And there's actually a way your phone is keeping track of how much time you're spending on each app. Did you know that? I did know this. <laughs> I've done this and I actually wasn't too shocked, gratefully. But That's you can good. find out how many minutes a day you're logging yeah. on Instagram, for example. It's in your settings, right? Yeah, if you just go to settings and scroll down to battery, click on that and it'll bring up all your apps and all the time you're spending on it. That could it's be a little scary. scary. That it's could be <laughs> but a big aha, I think, for a lot of women out there. Step two is to make a list. What are we listing out? So I want you to make a list of all the things that you want to do. Like, you, So make a huge list, a big list of like the big accomplishments that you want to do or the things, the big things you want to learn. So dump it all out. Dump it all out. And then I want you to make a smaller list and break down the bigger list. So if you want to learn to be a better baker, then you know list out all the recipes you want to try to be a better baker. Then we're making a plan, kind of what we're going to do to accomplish those, those yeah. tasks. So this is when you really have to like look at how your day actually looks and how you're actually going to do this. So I do this like on a Sunday night. I take those 20 minutes on Sunday night and I think about like how my week's going to go. Like and so I take into consideration like pick up times and, and uh, practices and church stuff and all the stuff that I'm going to do and then I say okay where am I going to fit these in. So are you time mapping? Is that kind of what you're doing breaking down each day by chunks? Um, I don't do that because I'm not that much of a scheduler with like my kids because I've got little kids and so sure. I, like things like that but I and that's actually I don't think we have to be precise in like exactly when we're going to do it uh -huh. because the plan why it works is because we need to make this plan when we're fresh right? when I can take myself out of the situation, uh -huh. and then when I'm in the situation, when I look at my clock, I have 20, 30 minutes, then I, then I don't have to think about it, because that's where we waste time. Because you already pre thought what you're going to do. I've already thought about what I want to do. So enter the make it happen, the execution of these, these tasks or these goals. Yep, so with making it happen, this is where self-control has to come in. Because as moms, as busy women, we take our 20, 30 minutes, and the first thing we do, if we don't have a plan, is we start scrolling, right? Yes, yes. And we check our, our emails. And then at the end, we, we look at our clock and we've been doing it for 20 minutes. Right. And, and that suddenly is all gone. And so with the make it happen, like you have to be, you have to keep yourself accountable. And that's why you make a plan before you're in that vulnerable I, moment. I like that tip when you're fresh, when you have a good mm -hmm. perspective on the week to come or the days to come. Really great formula for us to follow. I know you're sharing more advice like this on your website. How can we connect with you? Yeah, if you go to the Women With Fire,
Fire.com. We have a podcast. My um, business partner, Sarah, and I, we actually are just starting a new um, series on our podcast where we are helping. If you are feeling like you want to do something, you want to accomplish something, you want to be build your influence, you need to go to that. And if you don't know how to get to podcasts, go to Instagram at The Women With Fire, and we have a tutorial on how to find our podcast. I love the conversations you're having. They're really inspiring, and they're promoting efficiencies and goal-setting opportunities like this. So thank you so much. Thank you.